Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. This is Pastor Rick, your North Campus pastor. Today we're looking at the beginning of Philippians chapter 3, and Paul is talking here about being righteous through your faith in Christ. And he starts in verse 1 and 2 by giving us, first of all, an encouragement and then also a warning. And he starts here in verse 1 and he says, Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. So we are to be joyful in our relationship with the Lord because we're righteous through Jesus Christ and our faith in him. But then in verse 2, he says, look out for the dogs. Look out for the evildoers. Look out for those who mutilate the flesh. That sounds kind of weird. He's telling us to rejoice in the Lord, but then giving us a stern warning to watch out for the dogs. I don't think he's talking about my little French bulldog, Roxy. He's talking about someone else. Who are these evil doers that we need to watch out for? And who are these that mutilate the flesh? Well, it's very interesting. It's probably not what you're thinking. These are actually the religious people that he's talking about. Can you believe that? Paul's telling us, hey, watch out for the religious people because you don't want to hang out with them. They've got some issues. You know any religious people that have issues? Uh, I know a few. But here's what he's talking about. He's saying, hey, rejoice in the Lord, but watch out for those who are trying to get you to do things or believe things that are not what Jesus has said. And that's what he's talking about here. The dogs, the evildoers. This is in reference to what's called the Judaizers. And the Judaizers of that day believed that, yes, you should know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, but... You also have to be a good Jew. You have to follow all the Jewish laws. You have to follow all the Jewish customs, which means even circumcision. Can you imagine someone saying in church, hey, I'm glad you accepted Jesus. Now it's time to get baptized and get circumcised. The baptism line is here. The circumcision line is there. No. All we need, folks, is what Paul is saying. You are righteous through Jesus. Jesus already did it all. He already went to the cross. He laid down his life. He rose three days later to free us from all of our sin and even our religiosity, all of the church junk. All we have to do is follow Jesus and realize we're righteous through what Jesus has done, not through what we do. What are we to do? Accept Jesus and follow him. That's what we need to do. So I want to encourage you today, your life in Christ should be joyful. You should have a good time. It should be great. God should be doing incredible things in your life, and you should be celebrating that by being joyful and rejoicing. So my, uh, my, my goal for you today is don't let the Debbie Downers, don't let the religious do-gooders, don't let the control freaks that are trying to tell you what to do rule your life and tell you how to follow Jesus. Let this book tell you how to follow Jesus and realize there's nothing you need to do. It's already been done through Jesus. All you have to do now is rejoice, be joyful, and have a great day. God bless you, Calvary.